speech number eight, our president, last but not least. Steve's speaking tonight from his advanced communicator storytelling manual. I don't have the objectives, but Steve is doing manual number three, the moral of the story. And Steve's title tonight is Darn It. I'd like to welcome up Steve Preston, Darn It. Thank you, Madam Toastmaster, fellow Toastmasters guests. Sunday was a fun day, Dars. It was a day where the people down at the fire station got to have a bit of fun. In fact, at lunchtime, they got to have a really good dinner. It was the day they celebrated getting through another week. It was the day that they had turkey, they had ham, they had salad, they had roast veggies, they had asparagus, they had dessert. Dessert's my favourite. There was Charlie, the chief, who looked after everything. Then there was Freddie and Felicity and Frank and Faye, all firemen. Oh, and there's Dennis too, he was a fireman. They all worked at the firehouse, and they were all there on a Sunday. In the morning, before dinner, what they had to do was clean the place up. That was their ritual. So on this Sunday, they started off by cleaning the fire engine, making it nice and shiny and red. They cleaned all the windows of the firehouse, they cleaned the garage, they cleaned the lockers and gear, they washed the gear, waxed the pole, they made the whole place sparkle. It was a bit of a chore, a bit hard, but they were prepared to put the effort in because lunchtime was coming up soon and they were looking forward to their turkey and ham. In fact, it was only a couple of minutes away now, they just about cleaned everything up and some of them were heading upstairs to the kitchen when suddenly there was a sound. Rip! Darn it! said Dennis. He had just ripped the canvas blanket right in the middle. It wasn't too big, but it was a bit annoying because it was just time to have dinner. It was only five minutes away and this had to be fixed. Freddie and Faye said, oh, I'll leave it to later, it'll be fine. Come and have dinner now. But Dennis said, no, I'm not going to put it off. He went and got some canvas needle and canvas thread, and he sewed it up. He fixed the whole... It meant he was late for dinner. It was a bit of a pain. Everybody else was already having fun, enjoying the food, and getting really involved in the festivities of their Sunday fun day lunch. And Dennis arrived on the scene and sat down and went to reach for a nice turkey leg when suddenly the siren went off. Oh no, there's a fire somewhere in town. So all of them ran to the fire pole and slid down it. Charlie and Freddie and Felicity and Frank and Faye and Dennis all down the fire pole into the engine, opened the doors and out they went, siren flashing down the road until they found the fire. It was an apartment building. It was only a small apartment building, three stories high, but it was on fire at ground level. They got their hoses out and they started uh, washing the fire, trying to put it out, but they realised that there was no way out because all the fire had started at the bottom. It meant that the people in the building couldn't get out and they saw a number of people up on the roof. How are they going to get them down before this fire burnt the building out? They went to get the ladder on the fire engine, but unfortunately there were trees outside the house which restricted their use. They weren't able to move the ladder into place and get it up to the roof for all these people up there. Suddenly Dennis had an idea. The canvas blanket, let's grab the canvas blanket. He pulled the canvas blanket out of the fire engine and they took it over. Fred took one corner, Felicity took another, Frank took another, Faye took another, and Charlie and Dennis took the middle. And they told the people up at the, yelled out to the people at the top, Jump! We'll save you! First of all, Jack landed in it, and they held it, and he got off safely. Then Jane, then Jeff, then Jan, then John, then Jess, then Jim, then Jenny and Joe. A whole lot of people saved from the top of the building. Yes. They were all thank thankful. Jack was thankful. Jane was thankful. Jeff was thankful. Jan was thankful. John was thankful. Jess was thankful, Jim was thankful, Jenny was thankful, and Joe were thankful. They were all thankful. Dennis was thankful too. He had managed to fix the, repair the canvas cover just in time. Now, the moral of the story, I'm sure you all know, 
A stitch in time saves nine. Damn it! Sorry, damn it. <laughs>